Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can collect Kubernetes pod metrics and in fact, a lot of other kind of metrics uh, using Prometheus uh, running on Kubernetes 129. And along with that, I'll also share some interesting facts with you while we are on it. And please excuse my voice. I've not been keeping well and that is why the voice. All right, so the first thing before we get started, I need to install Helm. So I'll just install, by the way, I'm using Killer Coda uh, cluster. Again, I always use, it's much quicker uh, way to basically show things rather than create your own Kubernetes cluster. So let's see if we have Helm installed already. Yes, we have, so I'll just remove this. user bin helm and I'll just run this command so what this command would have done it would have downloaded a script yes you can see this get helm.sh right clear the screen chmod and we'll just run this get helm.sh and this is going to install helm and it should be there yes all right so the next thing i'm going to do is add prometheus repo using helm yeah repo has been added now we do helm repo update and we do helm install and let me just copy the release that I want to install this one uh, Prometheus community oh yeah right I need to give it a name yes this should work this takes like maybe a minute or so uh, I can pause the video until the time it is getting installed all right so it took like a minute or so so if we do kubectl with pods you can see Prometheus is creating all the required pods right they are coming up we'll just wait Yeah, so they are all running. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create kubectl, create a deployment. We'll call it nginx. The nginx pod should be coming up next. Yeah, it is coming up. All right, so this will come up. Okay, so now we have everything we need. Right, we have Prometheus installed, we have our Nginx pod for which we can see the metrics, right? So the next thing is we want to do kubectl port forward. And the SVC and the name of the SVC is I think it is Prometheus Cube. Prometheus, Prometheus, yes, and 1990, and since I'm on Kula Coda, I need to do, because I need to expose it on all the Ethernet cards, uh, interfaces, basically, yeah, so once this is done, oh, come on, go back, yeah, let's hit enter, so now, we have exposed this. Let's go to traffics and port. You can see they give an instruction that you need to run it on all interfaces. So 1990 and let's access this. Let me just, okay, it's, it's black by default. Okay, so I thought my 
extension is making it okay i think there is an option no but yeah much better all right so now we have prometheus running we can query some metrics let's say we want a pod let's see what we have for container memory bytes usage bytes yeah let's execute and you can see you are getting container memory usage byte for all the containers which are running currently and not pods right this is for containers but what we can do is we can do something like and come on if i'm able to type and yes and i'll say pod equals nginx of my pod yeah so now if i execute this so you can see now i'm getting uh, container memory usage bytes only for my uh, pod and you can see two metrics because one is if you just look at this closely you see this is for the pause container which runs on every pod right and then the actual container nginx and these are the values in bytes but my my question to you all is like how is it that i mean i'm not running any agent on my nginx pod which is like exposing any sort of metrics then how is prometheus able to capture all these metrics right we are just simply running the pod and prometheus is simply capturing these metrics so the answer to that question is c advisor or container advisor so if you don't know what container advisor is it's basically a small agent which is packed with your kubelet and it runs on every node and it interacts with the container runtime which is running on your nodes right and it collects uh, these metrics from containers like cpu memory network and it exposes these metrics on an internal endpoint <coughs> so in case you are running a metric server so if you don't know what is a metric server uh, i would suggest you to google that and learn about metric server so in case if you are running a metric server what metric server does is it basically scrapes all these metrics to a central position central location from all the nodes right and then it exposes it, it exposes these metrics to from a uh, kubernetes api endpoint and that endpoint is basically scraped by prometheus and prometheus gets all the metrics but since we are not running any metric server and i can prove why we are not running any metric server because many a times you would have seen that you can do kubectl top pods right and you get all the basically memory and cpu utilization of all the pods but you can see i'm getting an error that metric api is not available because metric server is not running so in this case what prometheus is doing it's basically directly scraping the metrics from the c advisor uh, which is basically an endpoint which and i think in the prometheus dashboard you can see https metric uh, you metric path is slash metrics and slash c advisor so on all the containers this metric c advisor basically exposes the container metrics on this path which is basically an internal endpoint so that's how prometheus is able to scrape and collect all the metrics from containers at container level right all right so yeah too much of knowledge so that's pretty much it for this video uh, i hope you guys like this video you learned something new and yeah that's all uh, please do subscribe to our channel before leaving and thank you for watching